habitants du Vanuatu pour qu'il introduise l'allocution du chef du gouvernement. Mr. President, Excellencies, I have a distinct honor to introduce the Prime Minister of the Republic of Vanuatu, Honorable Bob Lofman Weibu, to present his pre-recorded message. Mr. President, Excellencies, Heads of State and Governments, Mr. Secretary General, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I have the great honor to deliver this address on behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Vanuatu. Mr. President, in the area of human rights and decolonization, as we look ahead to the future we want, we must picture a world of freedom. One that is free from predominance of colonial rule, persecution, and human rights abuses. In my region, New Caledonia, French Polynesia, and West Papua are still struggling for self-determination. Drawing attention to the principle of equal rights and self-determination of peoples as stimulated in the UN Charter. It is important that the UN and the international community continue to support the relevant territories, giving them an equal opportunity to determine their own statehood. With the recent referendum results in New Caledonia, in comparison to the 2018 results, there is now a narrow margin of votes between those voting for and against independence. It is therefore important that the referendums remain free, fair, transparent, and continue under the supervision of the United Nations. It is in this connection that we continue to remind ourselves, the people of Vanuatu, of our strong cultural connection with Yumanubne and Yumanaying Islands, commonly known, referred to in English as Matthew and Hand Islands. Recognizing the incomplete process for the decolonization of Vanuatu, we hope that the UN-led process draws a clear pathway to achieve peaceful settlement of these disputed islands. Mr. President, there are widespread human rights violations around the world. In my region, the indigenous people of West Papua continue to suffer from human rights violations. The Pacific Forum and ACB leaders, among other leaders, have called on the Indonesian government to allow the United Nations Office of the Human Rights Commissioner to visit West Papua province and to provide an independent assessment of the human rights situation. To date, there has been little progress on this front. I hope the international community, through appropriate UN-led process, takes a serious look at this issue and address it fairly. I thank you. On behalf of the General Assembly, I wish to thank the Prime Minister of the Republic of Vanuatu for the statement just made.